Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get your DVD key off your Xbox 360 disk drive. Um, I have a DG16D4S model. My firmware version is 0225. So if you've got that, then you can still do it. But any others, you can probably still do this. So basically, you're just going to plug in your USB cables for your X360 and deal with the others. It is that way. And there we go. Now it should light up. I'm just going to uh, power it on. So once it's powered on over at your computer, you can go ahead and run Jungle Flasher. I'm not going to actually show you how to install it or anything. Show you how, I'm not going to bother with that into a separate video if you need that. Um, to get your DVD drive out, if you don't actually know, you just have to take apart your console to this point. And then, yeah. So, on Jungle Flasher, you're going to right click on it and then you're going to uh run as administrator and pop-up should come up and you've got to click yes i'm on windows 7 doesn't really look like i am because i've got a uh a custom sort of windows 7 that i've made so yeah anyway just wait for jungle flash to run I've run it with the disabled drivers so that no, not too many pop-ups come up. I've only got one pop-up because uh, I don't actually know why it came up, but who cares? Anyway, yeah, click on DVD key 32, um, and that way we can get to this point. Uh, here, you're just going to select the this part here, and then if it's not selected, select it, and then power cycle by pressing this button here. Um, and then you're going to click on the slim key, click that, then it'll go through down the bottom, you can see the log, um, here it'll say, do you wish to send unlock to slim, you're going to click no, okay, then here it will tell you to resend the command and turn off your drive for one second and turn it instantly back on, so I'm going to hover over that and get ready to click it. And then once I click it, I'm going to power off the drive, pressing the power button, and then turn it straight back on. So we're going to go, power off, power back on, and then it should go ahead and do it. And as you can see, it's doing it. It's got my key um, right here. So I can't read that, but you don't really need to. There's just saying grabbing the key sector. So it's pretty much done. It just needs to grab it, and then it just needs to, and then I can, we'll just save my. Uh, files anywhere I need. I don't think I've actually got them. Well, I do, but I'll just delete these and then put it somewhere else. There we go. So now I can show you the full thing. There we go. Um, the grabbing key sector may take a little while. Won't take too long. It may take about two minutes, maybe the most. Um, anyway, so on the X360 USB, it should just stay the same. You should probably see some flashing lights here. Yeah. If you don't have the Pro V2, then you may want to get the CK3 Mini and the X360 USB. Um, so that, that's the older version of this, and the CK3 Mini is like a separate thing. You'll probably see that, and I'll do like a review for the CK3 Mini when that comes through to my house. But yeah. Anyway, once it's done, uh, you should get a Save As pop-up, and it'll ask you... To save, just want to keep the fi uh, the file name the exact same as it's put, like you know, by default, and just keep on pressing save until all of it is done. Okay, now it's just hashing the drive. I'm not sure if you can read that, but it's hashing the drive at the very bottom. And then I'll have the very final save, which is the uh, dummy version. So you're going to save that, and it will come up with this pop up. You're just going to click. No, because we're not going to flash. If we are going to flash, we'll, we would click yes, but we're not going to. So I click no. And that's it. Then you're done. So then you just exit out of the um, program. Uh, this will probably come up. Just click cancel because you don't really need to save that. And then that's it. Then you're done. So congratulations, guys. You've got your DVD key off here. So you now you can put that on anything really that you needed to. Maybe on another DVD drive or something. In my case, I'm going to use it for hacking my DVD drive, but yeah. So guys, thanks for watching. Please rate, 
comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you next time.